Daniel. Topeka's Comic Convention returns this weekend to Great Overland Station. Nikki Blackburn is an events program manager with Shawnee County Parks and Rec. She oversees Great Overland Station specifically. So this is a big deal for you. Yes, this is one of our biggest events of the year and we're really excited to be getting to do How it How many again. years has it been going on? So this is actually the second, the year, second year, but in its first year it did amazing. We had so many people come out, so we're hoping to see even more this year. What all happens at the Great Overland Comic Convention? I mean, if you're a nerd, you got to be there. Of course, we <laughs> have to thank our partners like Humanities Kansas, of course, WBW. We're so thankful for you guys. The Ramada Downtown Visit Topeka and Hotel Topeka. Thanks to them, we are able this year to bring in three very unique animators. Um, one of those is Greg Peters. He worked on shows like The Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Rugrats on Nickelodeon. Um, he's a Daytime Emmy Award winner, so you'll get a chance to meet him. Bona Bones, she worked on a show called uh, Robot Chicken, which is a stop motion <laughs> animated show and kind of continuing the theme of chickens unintentionally, but Chris Grine is another animator we're gonna have, and he works on a show you can actually watch on Netflix right now called Chicken Hair. So we're gonna have some amazing guests to start for one of the things you can see at the Comic-Con. How cool is it to hear from these the, the speakers firsthand? What kind of information do they share for so, people? Even if you don't know the shows themselves, you might be interested to hear about the process. Yes, and especially if you're somebody who is a nerd or even just somebody who wants to know more about you know what it is to be an animator. How do you get into these industries? They'll be talking at panels live at the convention telling you know their stories. How did they get into the industry? How did they become artists and animators and things like that. So it's a really unique experience because sometimes at bigger events, you don't get a chance to talk to these yeah. people for much at all. But here at a smaller event, you'll get a chance to see them face to face. A little interaction. And I just want to clarify, Nikki, that I, I trust you are using nerd in the most positive oh, of yes. senses. I mean, when I say I'm a nerd, I say okay. it with <laughs> excitement, with enthusiasm. It's okay if you don't you know, use that word for yourself. But when we say it, we mean you know somebody who loves pop culture, loves comics, whatever it might be that you're into as a subject be proud to be a nerd <laughs> absolutely absolutely and cosplay I, I guess i'm not necessarily completely familiar is that just the dressing up in the costumes or what kind of cosplay is part of something like this it's it's a little bit different for everybody but mostly you know the term means costume and play so it's it might be you go and you play as your character the entire time while you're there but a <laughs> lot of us are used to kind of seeing the people dressing up that's the main part of it but we do have some actual guests um, at the show this year because we really wanted to incorporate more of the cosplay. It's so popular at these conventions. And so they'll be doing things like panels on how to start your first cosplay. So it's something you don't do. If you want to give it a try, Melissa, you okay, come by and I'd learn, learn how. all about it. And <laughs> kind of like cosplay for dummies, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you learn how to get started. You, you say it's a comic convention, but what does that mean? Is this just about comic books? Is it just about an, an animated show? Or how? What what is the wide genre or field that you encompass in something like this. Sure. So a comic con, you know, they're always called comic cons and we do have some amazing uh, comic vendors. So there will be comics for sale there for your comic fans, but it's also about pop culture. So if you're into anime or fantasy or other types of genres, we have so many vendors, whether they're selling the actual comic books or they're selling uh, maybe, you know, toys, video games, there's going to be a gaming tournament there. So people can actually come and enter the gaming tournament. We'll have one brought on by Potato Place Gaming at two, uh, 12 p.m. each day at the convention. Okay. So, Is there a specific game they're going to play? Yes, they're actually going to play uh, on Saturday. So tomorrow they'll be playing, uh, it's going to be Mario Kart 8. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're a Mario Kart fan, and then, I'm sorry, on Saturday it's Super Smash Brothers, and then on Sunday it's Mario Sunday Kart 8. Sunday is Mario so, Kart, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I think, so, what's What's surprising to me sometimes when I hear about this is realizing some things that had their roots in comics that I didn't realize were comics. Mm -hmm. For example, I like to watch the TV show, The Walking Dead, and then you yes. hear, oh, it's a comic, and if you want to yes. get spoiler alerts, read the comic first. Yes, so a lot of things started out of comics. I mean, obviously the Marvel movies have become so right. popular, but a lot of people haven't actually gone and read the comics, so a good way to keep enjoying those things you like is to actually pick up one of those comic books and just start reading. You know, Sometimes it's hard to figure out where to start, but right. fortunately the people there can kind of guide you. Okay. I watch the old reruns of Superman and As Wonder Woman on weekends <laughs> on my TV. So there you go, 13-2. Yeah. The Great Overland Comic Convention, though, is from 10 to 4, both Saturday and Sunday at Great Overland Station there in North Topeka. Admission is 5 bucks, and that's actually good for two people? Yeah, uh, no, just 5 bucks per person. <laughs> $5 for, okay, uh, there was something in the notes saying a second admission could Yeah, come. so one of the things you do get is you, uh, with admission, you also get these little Conqueror coins. Oh, okay, so okay, that's, that's what that means. Yes, so you get these little coins, and you can actually give them to your favorite 
favorite guests or vendors or things like that, and then they could actually win a prize at the concert. There. It's a way to give oh, back okay. to all your favorite things. That's so. what that means. Very yeah. good. Six and under free. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Good yep. to see you. Hayden High School is bringing.